All right, here we go again. Earlier, uh, we worked some uh, DX. A little late in the afternoon, as you can see, the sun setting to the west. With the portable superintendent YP3 uh, multiband Yagi, I actually set as a 10 meter mountain, band, mountain bander right now. Uh, looking to the west or slightly northwest, about uh, three, about 280, 300 degrees, something like that. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can run some tests here between that and my 10 meter mobile vertical antenna that I normally use that works extremely well. Let's see if we can. Uh, Let's see if we can uh, make a comparison check stateside. Uh, DX uh, really wasn't abundant just late in the afternoon, and signals varied quite a bit because of the QS Baker. This is my setup. Let's see what we can do. This is a video uncut and unedited, so it's real time, and see how long it takes us to find a station or get a station. Right now we're on the rear antenna jack on the FT817, which is uh, where the YP3 is connected to. So let's see. Around the band a little bit. Nice to meet your acquaintance. KC2, WPX in the mobile, W5 in you, Mesquite, Texas. Bye bye. Uh, W5 station uh, N2 RRA QRP portable. Okay, good afternoon. Uh, let me just uh, take a standby and make sure you're done with the mobile. Yeah, we're just signed off. Go ahead. Okay, Roger. i got to get the call uh, next uh, round, but uh, the call here is November 2, Romeo, Romeo, Alpha. We are stroke QRP and portable in the field. The name is Eric, Echo, Romeo, Italy, Charlie. You're 5757, maybe even a little stronger. Uh, I'll let you, uh, give you a definite on the next go-around. But uh, just shooting a little vid here and doing uh, a little experimentation uh, between two different antennas uh, here in the field. Uh, we are uh, running off of a battery backup uh, system. But anyway, I uh, heard you in there. I uh, wanted to give you a quick call. I wasn't sure if you were clearing or not, so hopefully we're not keeping you. All anyway, right, thanks for uh, uh, listening for the QRP and, and picking us up from N2 RRA QRP Portable. How copy over. Okay, Eric, N2 RRA W5 NU. Uh, 100% Q5. Uh, signal reports probably about a 6 to 7, but uh, clear as the bell. On the y Yagi, YP3, no rear antenna jack. Nice. So this is the vertical on the front really antenna. Certainly is. So, uh, uh, pleasure to meet you, and uh, glad to give you a signal report there, and have fun with that QRP. That uh, that's a lot of fun. I uh, have a lot of friends around. The two three here S unit difference the, uh, yeah. Build a little kit two, two uh, rigs and run the uh, CW QRP. They'll go out to the park and. Um, you know, throw a little thin piece of wire up in the uh, over the tree branch and uh, put their little antenna tuner, which is a little teeny, teeny box, to their little teeny, teeny transceiver and bring out their little teeny, teeny uh, tier and away they go and uh, work all over the place. A lot of fun. So 73, Eric, thanks for calling in. Uh, I'm going to QRT for just a minute, and I'll be back. Into RRA, uh, W5NU. Okay, very good, W5NU, N2, RRA. Well, the video that we're shooting right now, uh, you'll be able to see your signal here, what you sound like here on the uh, Fox Tango 817. You'll also see that we're always set up with a, uh, a key here in front of us. Uh, we do a lot of uh, QRP at Morse uh, and uh, love it. Been doing it over 20 years. Real quick before a QRT for the vid here, um, uh, if you can just give me a quick report on the vertical antenna. I don't mean to hold you. We don't want to stop the video here. We want to keep it real time so people see how quick it is for us to uh, get the contact running QRP. Uh, but um, if I if I may, it's on a coax switch, so it's just a quick one-two flip uh, back and forth. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, over. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. 
Okay, this is uh, the front antenna jack on the 817. The Yasel Fox Tango 817 5-watt QRP rig is, is the rig of, that we're using. Uh, and uh, right now we're running a vertical antenna we normally run in the mobile. It is mounted on the mobile, parked behind me. I'm not running off battery, the car battery power. I'm running off a, uh, again, motorcycle external battery power. And this is the vertical antenna. So do you see any significant difference uh, between the, the, the two antennas? Uh, W5NU from N2 RA QRP Portable. Uh, yes, Eric. Uh, the other antenna gave you quite a bit stronger signal. If you want to turn it back on, I think about two S units difference, but uh, notable, notable difference to the ear, too. Go ahead. Okay, Roger, Roger. Well, this is still the vertical antenna. What I'll do is I'll flip it right now. Here we go. Stand by. And uh, now we're back on the uh, on the Yagi. What the Yagi system is is a uh, portable Yagi. It's a uh, uh, it's, it's a six meter through twenty meter, and uh, it's a ten meter monobander. The way I have it fix, fixed uh, at the moment, it uses coils for twelve through seven uh, twelve through twenty meters actually, uh, but um, seems to work well on all the other bands. Never really put it to too much use over the number of years I've owned it on ten because of the poor. Uh, Poor sunspot cycle, but uh, now that 10 meters is open, hey, <laughs> we're gonna take advantage of it anyway. Uh, so that's what we're running. Uh, the Yagi is on a uh, speaker telescoping 15 foot mass, so it's about 15 feet off the ground, is all we have it, and uh, it always works well for us, uh, DXY stateside wise. But I haven't made too many videos with stateside stations, so anyway, we'll turn it back over to you. You could uh, give me uh, one last report what you saw and what you heard between the two now that you, you've heard both. And I've uh, been on this uh, on the Yagi now for the last uh, transmission, and uh, there you have it. If you, uh, I know you're going to QRT now, so I'll make this one my final. I want to thank you. I want to bid you a good 73. I hope to do it again, and again, you'll be able to find this YouTube video uh, using your call or my call or the YP3 or something like that. Uh, you'll be able to locate it later on this evening, and uh, you'll you'll see for yourself the difference in signal, difference on receive on my end and what you sound like and how where you're sounding here. W5NU from N2, double R A Q R P. Over. Okay, Eric, N2, uh, R R A Q R P W W5NU, excellent. Well, it, it definitely makes uh, two S units plus, about eight dB difference. And uh, it's very noticeable to the ear and uh, gives you a whole lot better signal. So, uh, at Yankee's uh, great little antenna for you to use. 73, we'll look forward then to the video, and uh, you have a great day, and uh, have a lot of fun out there with QRP rig. Into our RA, W5NU, this is Texas. Bye-bye, uh, Eric. W5NU, thank you so much. I appreciate the QSO. Thanks for uh, uh, holding up for us, and hope to work you on other bands. Till next time, W5NU from N2, double RA, QRP Portable, 73. Yeah, W5NU, thank you. New Jersey, say, Let me Eric give you the look see on the vertical. And there you have it. That's the vertical we used if you didn't catch it in the beginning of the video. Which how could you not? From West Harrison, New York, Westchester County, 7-3 from N2RA.